March 26th, I would have been out of prison for a year. Um, I also was celebrating three years clean April 23rd. I was trying to call myself working two jobs and pushing it to the limit, <laughs> wanting to be self-sufficient. And uh, But on the way to my second job, I was in a car accident. I broke my back <laughs> in two places, which is the reason I'm sitting here in this contraption. I've been going through this situation with my baby dad. They both have the same dad, like he hits me, he hits me all my pregnancy. He always used to tell me I'm useless. I was in a very bad relationship. I was homeless. I didn't have anything. I lost my house. I lost my credit. <laughs> I lost my car. I lost my finances. And uh, I'm gonna cry. I ain't crying. <laughs> I was like probably eight eight months pregnant. I just didn't know what else to do. Actually delivering and having this baby and this baby being in my world and in my home and in my life, I didn't know my next step. And I think within the week, Mommy's Mother was doing so much in my life that they were arranging for someone to come to the hospital with me and deliver my baby. It was just immediate help. You know, what can we do? How can we help you? The very first thing that comes to my mind is um, you guys helped me get a headstone for my son. It wasn't something I could face on my own. <sighs> Thank you. <laughs> you feel like you can fly. You're, you're flying, you're getting there, you're learning how to stand up on your feet. You're part of they family. Like, it makes you feel like you at home, that's your home. I was just so happy when I had met you guys because they started moving really, really quick. It was more <laughs> than what I expected, completely honest. Um, it was like having a family. I was already getting this sense from God saying, I'm going to give you rest because he's seen, you know, he's seen everything that I have went through. He's seen everything that I have went through. I've learned more in the virtual enrichment about life than I could ever imagine. I thought we would just be talking about kids and moms and it's not. Every week it's a new topic. Every week I'm learning something new. And then the in-person enrichment, it's like, kind of like we treated like royalty. I never had nobody for years cook me a dinner where I got to sit down and eat and it was about me. I've met with women who ha have never walked the path that I've walked. But they sat down and talked to me like a human being like just another mother. One day a month, I can go to the rich man and get spoiled, so I like that. <laughs> Every enrichment, it means at the church, and we eat, we share, we talk. To know that God exists and people out there for you. I'm learning how to be a mom each and every day. They treat me as if I'm like a part of their family, sending cards, scriptures, encouragement, calling, um, but just reminding me also, give thanks to God and know that, you know, he has a plan and he's helped me and taken care of me this far. Kendra is my, she's my family advocate. Yeah, so anything I needed, anything I needed advice on, um, I just needed somebody to talk to, she was that person. Like, you know how you call your mom? And when you go with something, and you know your mom, even if she can't do everything to get you out of it, she can at least tell you or point you to a direction. I see girls go through a lot of stuff, girls who go through what I went through, and um, I just, I tell them about, about Kendra, like, and she's a blessing from God. Like, she sends me Bible verses because, you know, that's, like, my my firm foundation is God. The difference between, like, other organizations and Mommy's Matter is that you know that you can text, you can call. They will always be there. It's just the, the, how you get with your family. The love that you get from your family is the same love you feel when, you, when you're with Mommy's Matter. You could just relax. You could finally relax. I'm so proud of you. Thank you. <laughs> Where would you be if Mommy's Matter wasn't a part of your life? 
I don't know. I don't know. I, I, mommy's matter doesn't allow me to to have that thought. Cause I don't know. I've I've came out of a really dark hole. When I see moms or advocates that's been with mommy matter for years, it's just like an example of the type of woman that I want to be. Um, because I I don't have much at all, but. My ultimate goal in my mind is like I want to continue to do right, get where I need to be so one day I can be helping people at Mommy Matters. Like that's the type of things I want to do. Y'all changed my life. Y'all really have. Thank you, Mommy's Matter. Thank you, Miss Monica. Thank you, Miss Kendra. I love you guys so much.